Hi there, this is Professor Juris, and I just wanted to make a quick video for you today and talk about horizon lines. Horizon lines are very important in your photograph, especially if you're photographing landscape photos or even if you're doing portraiture. Uh, one of the things that you want to do with landscape photos is always keep your horizon line level. And what I mean by that, if we take this, this is the center right here of a photo of the photograph, and I've put this line in, and the line is level. So if you have this imaginary line in your camera when you're taking a picture, one of the things that you want to do is that make sure that your horizon line is level from uh, from this point down to the bottom of the photograph on both sides. You don't want a horizon line that's um, on an angle. You always want your horizon line to be straight across the photograph. Now the reason I chose this photograph was this is a really nice photograph. I can show it to you uh, without the lines in it. And I really like this photograph although it's not perfect. Um, it's not perfect because of the placement of the horizon line. So if I turn this back on um, when you do photographs, what you want to do is you want to divide the photograph by a one-thirds, two-thirds relationship in, in regard to the, um, the ground area and the sky area. So this photograph is almost directly in the center is the horizon line, and that's really a no-no. So that's one of the drawbacks of this photograph. I could actually put this photograph in a contest and maybe win a prize and stuff, but the reason it would do that would be because the person jurying the photograph doesn't really know that much about art and rules of art. So in rules of art, you never want to divide the horizon line in the center. You want to divide it um, so you either have two-thirds sky uh, or one-third sky. So if I would move this sky all the way up to this red line right here, and then have way more foreground in the photograph, that would be good. Or if I would bring the... Um, the sky down so that I have less sky um, and more foreground that would be good but so these red lines are really where you want to put this dividing right here which is slightly below the below the black line so it's coming there but if I would have just dropped it a little bit more and had a little bit more sky it probably would have been a better photograph okay let's look at another photograph here um, this is a photograph in uh, Hell's Canyon in Oregon and this is an example um, where the horizon line is perfect. If I, I, what I did was I made this photograph nine inches um, in Photoshop so that I could put the ruler in at three inches, which would be a one-third relationship. And if we come across here to the ground, um, we can see that the ground is just about there at um, you know three inches, and then the sky, the sky has three inches, and the foreground has six inches, which is right. Um, and you know, if, again, the, the horizon line in this picture is level. So if we come across and look right here, uh, we look right here. They're both pretty close. And if I turn the lines off, um, we could see what a, a nice photograph it is. So I'll turn that back on. And let's look at one more when we're talking about horizon lines. Um, let's look at this photograph. And this photograph also, um, I think, is is fairly well done. It has, you know, one third sky up here, and two thirds of foreground. And actually, the the Weimaraner is um, at, at point right now, and it's just about in the proper place for it in the rule of thirds. So, um, you know, you might want to have it up a little bit, maybe like where this cursor's at right now would make this photograph absolutely perfect. But um, you know, I'd have to do that by dropping the camera down a little bit to, to, to put the dog up here in the photograph. So a, th a lot of things, I mean, you can't change things. Um, when I put this together, it was very fast because the dog was on point. But, um, you know, things aren't always perfect. But these, these rules are just so that you can try to make the photographs as perfect as possible. So a lot of times you may not get everything exactly the way you want it in the photograph, but you could still use the photograph. I'm not saying not to use it, but I'm just, um, these are good general rules to keep in mind when you're taking photographs. Okay, enjoy.